That was good on both ends. I don't blame Pred for doing that DP. That was a smart place to DP, but that was also very smart on Wawa's point to... Whoa! Oh my god, what a Dragon Ball moment. Oh my god. What's going on, guys? Akko here coming at you with another match review, and we got another great one for you here. Once again, we're looking at EVO 2022, and we've got Legendary Pred versus Wawa. So I really like looking at these matches in particular. I like these regional matches. It's really fun to see, you know, top players from two different regions face off because naturally different regions just don't play the same way at all, but both play insanely well. So it's like, it's really interesting to see that clash. And oh man, almost immediately we have we have a big difference in decision making going on here. Pred starting off fast, Wawa starting off a little slower, but he wins the opening neutral war. And they go G to privilege, gonna build a lot of meter on that first encounter. Ooh, okay, so one of my favorite things is to point out the Oki options, so you fellas at home can, you know, use some of these options for yourself. Here he gets a regular slide knockdown and opts to do a super jump and then a fast fall. So this is a good way to, you know, cover a lot of options because if Fred had delayed his wake up here, the fast fall would have landed fast enough to do something once he did get up. And then this would cover both an up tech and a back tech. So as you see, and that was very meaty because you can see that the jab just barely touched him. So that makes Wawa even more plus. The better you time your meaty, the more plus it'll be. So here he's like insanely plus and he decides to go for a assist set up there. Very good guard cancel. Because the, the thing about guard cancel is you really gotta time it at a moment where a heavy button is coming out so that there's nothing the opponent could do. Because here, there's nothing Wawa can do. If he had done it too early, he might have gotten a hit. That's something that I myself still am working on a lot is getting guard cancel to come out at the right time because it's actually pretty hard i'm not gonna lie to you what are we doing here <laughs> i call that the menacing oki he literally just stood there and waited to see what the option was it's like oh you up tech okay here we go i'm gonna i'm gonna staircase you back down <laughs> It makes sense, though. He went for the menacing because he didn't have an assist up. Pred coming out on top of that little scramble interaction they had there. Level one just to get the tag. I like it. Nice and safe. Oh, and, and then Wawa's like, oh, I'm going to do that, too. I like that idea. I'm going to do that, too. Splashed. Ooh, notice how he didn't... Ooh, he might be regretting that now, but notice how Wawa did not vanish that. He had a million years to vanish it, but apparently he wants to save his meter for level 7. I respect it. But Pred is going to get the opening. Oh, he did not go for the rejump. I respect that. I respect that. I respect that 100%. Like, this is the highest stakes in the world. This is Evo. We're not trying to drop combos. Ooh. Ooh. That was a brilliant bait by Pred there, but uh, Wawa went ahead and spent his spark. Now he's got the momentum. And, oh, wow, we didn't go for the level seven. Oh, we're going for the kill instead. I respect that. I respect that. Get him off the screen. I entirely respect that. Level 5 is cool. Can't deny that. Can't deny that. Got the movie animation and everything. Alright, so slow pace neutral here. Oof. Woo! That was nice. Damn, was that actually a whiff punish? Oh my god! Bro, the sh movement. Look at this. So, he reacts to the full screen... EX legs, back dashes perfectly, and then 5Ls it. 
you know it's a perfect whiff punish because the system says counter, which means Gohan's attack was still active. Jeez! That was beautiful. Man, no neutral in Dragon Ball, by the way. I don't know what that was. That was really weird. That was very, very weird. I'm sure Wawa had some kind of five-dimensional chess set up there. We just didn't see it. Yeah, he should be dead even with Spark. These are some very... Well, not all powerful DACs. Gohan's is weak, but there you go. That was definitely close. This is by no means over. A powered up lab coat is a dangerous creature. Wow. Oh, if you've been watching this series of videos, you already know what I'm about to say here. Beautiful definition of neutral here. Call your best safe neutral poke and then layer it with an assist and boom. That's what we call layering right there. He did something he was going to do anyway, which is a jump S with Gohan, called the assist behind it. If it had been blocked, he would be getting a turn, but since it hit, he gets a combo. That is neutral in a nutshell right there. Low commitment pokes with your assist. We call that layering. What's the mix? Empty low. Ooh, these staggers are disgusting. And that's going to open him up and give Wawa game one. Man, very, very intense. Even though Wawa didn't lose a character, I mean, that still could have gone either way. Let's see what kind of adjustments Pred is going to make in the second round here. Or both players, actually. Both players have to adjust after the first match. Wawa taking the initiative again. What's the knockdown? Okay, same thing. Ooh, see, that's exactly what I was talking about. So he did the same setup here. He did a super jump fastball. This time he noticed that there was a delay wake up, so he did not press a button and instead blocked. This is an example of, you know, going for safe, you know, Oki. Safe, low committal Oki without putting yourself out there. Oh, that was a very weird drop. Very weird drop, and Wawa has taken back the momentum. There goes that super jump fastball again. That was an amazing throw break on Pred's end. That was amazing. <laughs> okay, so that was very nice like we're in the middle of a scramble here like a lot of things are happening you know nobody nobody knows what's going on at this point so since nobody knows what's going on wawa opts to back off he stops swinging completely calls a defensive assist and then comes back in very very smart stuff in situations like that you don't want to panic you want to back off and reset the situation make the situation make sense Ooh. Super jump fast fall again, and once again, he was safe on wake up. Oh, okay, that was a little weird. He did he did spark into DP. Interesting, interesting. I guess he thought that Pred was going to challenge since, you know, a blocked spark is kind of a, a back and forth moment. That was interesting. Woo. Well, what are we gonna do with this? We're gonna level three? Yes, sir. No more spark on the table, so... Nice. So he, he faked the overhead there and tried to go for a throw, which was... a very good move. Oh my god, that was a Vegito moment. I like that, you hardly ever see that with Gohan. He stayed, he faked out a cross-up and then stayed same side, causing Wawa to do the walk of shame and get hit. Same side bomb instead of same side sword. Who's going to win the neutral? Ooh, very good stuff there. So right there, this was a, this was a very good reaction on Wawa's part. See, stuff like this, you can do this with any character. That's why in these videos, even if you don't play these characters, just make note of the decisions, not the character specifics. Because look... He, he noticed that he was in range 
of Pred at this point. So he did his fastest air special move and then called his assist, and now it's his turn. And because of the fact that he super jumped to get there, he was able to still have another jump after this, allowing him to air dash before he hit the ground, turning it into a cross up. And that, that's not a Vegito thing. You can do that with literally any character that has a forward moving special attack. Left, right, incoming. Whoa. Whoa. Oh man. Once again, man. See, this is that's the true strength of these uppercut assists, is to basically do nothing. Because Wawa, he had no intention of scrambling here. He moves in and blocks while calling the assist and waits to see what happens, and then boom, you're hit. Defensive assist calls, man. Reverse beats. Why does he have it? Ooh, I'm loving this neutral right here. This neutral play is beautiful. Cool, man. Vegito stagger game is just broken. So Pred tried to lock him down there with the EX spin, but he was a little bit out of range. These fellas are playing neutral, bro. This is this is this is amazing. I like this. Oh my god! The movement, bro. Oh my god. And Pred finally gets a hit. So much movement. What are we gonna do here? Oh! Oh my god. You can only block for so long. You can only block this character for so long. Those command grabs. Boom. And then here comes the adult. Here comes the young adult, Gohan. Oh my god! <laughs> Round start, dash up 5L. Damn! Tell me how you really feel. No meter for a level three. Wow. Damn, that's dirty. That's dirty, bro. Nerfing an anchor. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay, we're going for it. Damn, level seven. Nerfed level seven. Oh man. This is still this is still pretty scary. Any whoa. Damn. Pred is just trying to make sure he doesn't get in a situation where he has to block something because this is going to happen. This exact situation. Oh, <laughs> Damn, that was like, he threaded the needle there. Damn, like perfectly met him on the ground. Nice stuff from Pred. Damn. Damn, Pred's movement in that game was literally everything. That was the deciding factor, like... It made it like next to impossible for Wawa to actually start anything major. All right, final game. Loser goes home, and wow, this time Wawa starting out fast. Wow. Look at that privilege, bro. So after that blocked super dash, you cannot touch her there. So because Wawa super dashed, he lost the initiative. Insane. Insane. Very few, if any, characters can recreate that scenario. Ooh, that was a bait. Wow! Oh my god. I like the bait there. He was baiting DP. But it ended up turning into a good situation for Wawa. Holy cow. Man, that was fast. 
Man, it's crazy too. At this level, these fellas are basically only getting hit by command grabs most of the time. Command grabs and counter hits at neutral. They're not really getting opened up by block strings. Ooh, clonked. Oh my god, he's bouncing. Oh my god. So that was good on Fred's part because right there, that uh, 2L by Gohan is zero on block, meaning that Wawa can now restart his pressure. So recognizing this, Fred opted to DP, but did you see what happened there? I made a video on this. He did a very fast dash option select. You're gonna see Wawa dashing forward. Yep, dash, block, and called the assist. He did option select, block, assist call. So this was just 100% safe. Jesus. That was good on both ends. I don't blame Fred for doing that DP. That was a smart place to DP, but that was also very smart on Wawa's point to, whoa! Oh my God, what a Dragon Ball moment. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Young Gohan is better confirmed. <laughs> Young Gohan is superior. Ooh, had to do it. Had to spark. There's too much going on there. Wow, clonked. Ooh, oh, that's a that's a classic right there. So boom, he's gonna bring him down with the IAD. He's insanely plus here, but rather than going for another IAD, he goes for a 6M. And Pred, knowing that an IAD is the best option here, opted to 2H, but 6M is gonna be 2H every time. Damn. It's like, it's knowledge versus knowledge. It's like, Pred's making good decisions, but it's like Wawa is countering those good decisions. That is so dead, brother. No, he is, he's deceased. Absolutely deceased, bro. Crazy, man. Man, that's something people don't talk about enough, is having a level 5 character on your team is such a privilege. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn, I feel like this is a momentum shift moment. It's like... I feel like at this moment, it's kind of like the pressure is checking in now. But, but hold on, Pred's hanging in there. He's hanging in there. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was smart. That was smart, smart, smart. So he did empty vanish here. What did Wawa do? He tried to DP. Wow. Okay, that's a smart move. But damn, the DP lost to a 5S. So this was a I'm calling I'm calling your bluff moment. Because if you do empty vanish 5S, that means you're trying to stop them from doing a 2H because that'll always beat it. But Wawa was looking ahead and he tried to DP. The DP actually lost there. How much meter can you build? Wow, still had the smash and everything. What's the mix? I like that. Oh, man. The 6M cancel there. What's going to happen here? It is, it is an even match. Ooh. Scary. Oh my god. Wawa is letting the DPs rock, man. <gasps> is that gonna kill? Oh my god, last hit. And he could have teched it. That is emotional damage. Ow, my soul. Wow. Damn. All the momentum on Wawa's side. All of it. What? Oh my god, that was so fast. Jesus. Jesus, mix after mix. Plus frames. Oh my god. How did he know? 
How did he know? Like, he could have done anything there. Damn, so was this just a, was this a situation where it's like, you showed me that you want to do this too much? Because that was a call out. Because remember, way earlier in the match, he hit him with same side bomb. And Wawa was basically like, no, not this time. Damn. Damn. And that is why we call him Woo Woo. <laughs> Damn, that was godlike. That was very, very godlike. Wow. Really, really good set there, man. Like, that honestly, that could have gone either way. I feel like at a certain point, the momentum, at the very, very end, I feel like the momentum shifted towards Wawa's side and Pred couldn't really get it back. But for most of the match, I feel like the decision making was so on point. And it's mostly was the movement too. The movement was godlike. Like I, I love the way both of them were moving. They were basically, you know, preventing anything major from happening. And you really love to see that. But that's gonna bring us to the end of this video. Appreciate it for listening. As always, leave a like if you like these types of videos. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video. And I will catch you fellas next time. Ace.